Well, this is um, to, actually today is officially the anniversary of the stream, and it is pretty exciting. But that won't happen. The actual anniversary stream won't happen until tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, you know what I mean. Later on today, whenever, because it's 1 a.m. Eastern. So it is actually May 11th. Um, this is the night before I started the stream. And uh, it actually, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely really cool to have people here for this. This is the first time I've streamed Metroid Fusion. And Metroid being one of my favorite series, I think, uh, if not my favorite series of all time, I think this is an appropriate thing to start on this day. And I have the um, virtual console version. Here we go. The galaxy is at peace. Cowboys. Yeah, I like Zero Mission. I've streamed that, I think, once. I've, I've played it a number of times. This I've only ever played once. But I'm excited. Metroid Fusion. I'd been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Look, look, it's the Federation Force dudes. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of the attacker, a parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. I like how simple the story is, and like the way the cut the story is told through the cutscenes is so simple compared to what they tried to do with Other M. Once the X had infested my nervous central nervous system, I lost consciousness. My ship drifted into an asteroid belt. ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. It's like right at the beginning, Samus's ship is just destroyed. What a shame. Biologic's vessel re recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed.
And yes, this is the last game in the timeline. This is where we're up to. A game from 2002 is, is what we're up to in the Metroid timeline. Kind of crazy to think about it. 14 years and we still don't have a, like a continuation of this story. As for me, when life ended and I survived, reborn, something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. I'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer had notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. Uh, what? No. Don't do that. After, after regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station and the Casbah. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Is that a reference to, uh, Adam? I forget. I don't- eh. <laughs> Elder M, oh boy. They are like, hey, what's the, the least cool aspect of this game that we can base a game story around? Oh, I know, Adam! There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR-388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites The cause of the explosion is, as of yet, unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly, quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now go to the quarantine bay. I don't remember a whole lot... ...about Other M. Honestly, I really don't remember much of the story. I remember, uh, remember me? I can't not remember him because he just, he said remember me. And that was like a meme for a while. I also remember Adam. I remember Samus. And Kraid was in the game, kind of. I remember enjoying this game immensely, but I don't remember a lot of this game either. So this is definitely a fitting anniversary stream. Uh, start, in a way, because... This is the only Metroid game that I love that I've never streamed. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. I can't believe I never streamed this. This is really... This is an anomaly. Explosion. Kabams. Will I play Other M again? No, there's no need for me to play Other M again. So, I mean, this is just a crazy, like, past few months for me. Twilight Princess. Into this. Into, you know, Chrono Cross. This is just a lot of memories. Unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invaded and rapidly invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. 
In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X-Parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, Bob, so pursue free X-Parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but... You're only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive on duty, Samus, so the Federation Force game can be created. Is your objective clear? Now, get going. I've released the lock on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. I mean, you know, this game tried its hardest. It's, uh... Game Boy Advance sound chip. Isn't all that amazing. In all honesty. Some games did pretty good with it. Um, it's more, it just sounds... Like... The midis themselves are fine, but, you know, the quality is, is very low. There's a, a lot of good soundtracks on the Game Boy Advance, it's just, again, a lot of it sounded very muffled. I received news from HQ, they can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help you against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for download. Data room is here. Yes. With <laughs> your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Suddenly, Adam or whoever this is, this AI, I forget, is now Phi or Phi from uh, um, Skyward Sword. Here, let me just email you some missiles. Thank you for that. Exactly. Who's <laughs> gonna email me missiles? Also, uh, just to talk for a moment, people were curious about how I like the new Pokémon. I like the Owl. The computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under the name Ad Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect, with some irony, I named the computer after him. There we go, that's, that's why I called it Adam. There you go. Um... Bob! The owl is okay. I like the owl, it's cute. Um... That will probably be my starter. Liddy? Didn't we already have a, a fire cat Pokemon? What was Skitty? Was Skitty not fire? And then there's, um, what was the other one? It was, uh, a Juggalo. It was a clown water Pokemon. Seal Clown Water Pokemon. We never had a Fire Cat before. Oh, Skitty was normal. Sorry. Okay. So Skitty was not Fire. Okay. Is that gonna like? Is Lit Leo going to be an evolution of Litten? I just want to know, like. What? I got missiles. I want to know how... Oh. Yeah, I have to change some controls. Yeah, that's good. So, I, yeah, I mean, I think, um... I'm excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I think it's based on Hawaii. The, the new area. Alola... Uh, is that what it's called? Aloha Islands? Electrical interference has knocked out the elevator on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs. I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb special type of X parasites. Yes. Missiles are your only hope. And so is Obi-Wan Kenobi. But... I just want to know, what is Pokemon going to look like in 50 years? Like, how out of ideas are they? If they're doing fire Pokemon, cat Pokemon again.
Bop, 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 mom. Bop. It just goes like that. Bop. It's like we're getting to the point where it's just copies of a copy of a copy of a copy. It's like when you Xerox the same thing over and over again. It's just the, the quality degrades. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some cool looking ones in Sun and Moon. But in 50 years, every animal, every combination is going to be totally gone. Yes, like the Nine Inch Nail song. I'm just a copy of a copy of a copy. I'm sorry, GPM. I'm sorry about the Douglas thing. I'd like to officially put- I would like to officially put the Douglas thing to rest. Because I think it's freaking some people out. What began on Sunday shall end today. Why don't you bring your dog, Douglas? There we go. I just put it in the grave. That was it. Well, that was it for old time's sake. Oh my god. Oh, that's how you do that. Morph ball. I'm sorry, you can still do it, GPM. You can do it as much as you want. But uh, for me, the Mr. Dink, I've decided that for the six year anniversary, one of the things that I want to do is I want to kill a meme in its infancy. But it's yours now, GPM, if you want it. I know Mike likes it too. So, I mean, it's not dead from, you know, existence. It's just. I- I'm not gonna do it anymore. Vinny, missing an energy tank right now frustrates me so much. Okay, you gotta let me know where it is, I don't know where it was. L or R and pause menu. Samus, it says I feared the breeding environments have been... Invaded by X parasites, Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormalities in the biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to 1. Okay. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Just gonna lower the volume a little bit. You can't get the energy tank anymore right now. Okay. That sucks. So I have to be able to go through that door that I can't get through to get it. Lame. Yeah, I don't know this game as well as I know Super Metroid, so I'm gonna end up missing a lot of stuff. Reset? No, I'm good, man. I'm good. I am gonna reset, actually, after the save room. I see people trying to tempt me into doing the Douglas voice. It's not gonna happen. Sweet Jesus, we did it. It's like we're there in real life, guys. And then that low-ass quality <laughs> for that theme. That requires super missiles. I would assume. I can do Shitty Bender once, since it's the anniversary. Oh, you need authorization? Oh, I need the green hatch to unlock? Alright. This is not the way I want to go. Did you see Ridley? Holy shit. He's hiding out. What made me start that voice, though? Uh, mental problems, I'd say. Oh no, I'm not taking voice requests. Tomorrow, I'll do shitty voices for you guys. One each. One sentence each. Oh shit, it's Samus's suit. Obliterated.
S-A-X. Guess we'll go down to one. One of my Chrono Cross voices sounded like Mr. Dink. Well, that was partial. I didn't actually make a connection that it sounded like Mr. Dink, I don't think. And for some reason, Mr. Dink just started, like, slowly warming his way into my streams. The volume took a dip. Yeah, it, it did lower a little bit. Here, let me, um... Let me say something with shitty bendards. Hi! <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Samus Aaron, okay? I'm the real Slim Shady, not you other Slim Shadies who are just imitating. To want the real Slim Shady, please stand up. Hey! There you go. Alright, there you go. Whoever else in the audience gets triggered by my voices. Well, I'd like to wish you all a happy dick to eat, but uh, at the same time, that's the only one you're getting. <laughs> You're getting one shitty bender for the whole year. So enjoy it. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They're already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Yes, I have to destroy some game cubes now. By the way, someone actually... My Wii, as you know, has died. The disk drive no longer works. A guy named William sent me one of his Wiis. Apparently he got into a Ponzi scheme where he tried to sell a bunch of fucking Wiis and ended up not selling a bunch of them. And he had like, like a bunch left at his house. So he just sent me one of those. And, uh, and now I have a replacement for shovelware. So thank you, William. You, you've saved the stream, but also ruined it at the same time, because that means more shitty games will be played on stream. What's a Ponzi scheme? Hang on a second. I, I said Ponzi scheme. I don't really even fully know what that is. There's the GameCube, by the way. It's a fraudulent investment operation where the operator, an individual organization or organization, pays returns to its investors from new capital paid to the <laughs> operators by new investors rather than from profit earned through legitimate sources. Oh, obviously. So maybe he didn't participate in a Ponzi to sell those Wii's. But he did end up selling Wii's at some point. I don't, I don't really know how it worked. He sent me an email about it, but I've, I've forgotten. Someone else sent me gummy tits. It was a birthday gift in my P.O. box. I'm not kidding, by the way. They're just candy, candy tits. I mean, what's better, really? But what's better than filling your your stomach <laughs> with both tits and and too much sugar? Uh, Giromatic sent me something too, which I haven't seen. Giromatic, I hope you didn't send me more dildos. I don't- I really don't have any room for dildos. Like I said, before I went to PAX, I actually hid the dildos. Which, let's say I didn't come back from PAX, or someone decided to, you know, go into my house to check on stuff, and they start cleaning out my stuff, and there's two hidden red dildos. I mean, how the fuck posthumously do you explain that? You don't, because you're dead. But, it's worse if they're hidden, and- and- you know, the fact that they're like so... they're unused, it would be like, well, he cleans them real good, and he hides them. There's so little we knew about our Vincent. 
so little we knew. So no, I don't need any more dildos. Uh, no more dildos, John. You're, you're complicating my life with dildos. It's... <laughs> uh, he says I can promise you no more for, na for now. For now, huh? Okay. All right, fine. Speaking of like gummy bears and shit like that, I had um, these things called squish recently that are like gummy things that are weird and they're, they're really good. They're supposed to go with cocktails. And uh, one of the flavors is called brain. Like I'm floating brain. And it's literally just a gummy brain, filled with, like, like, diabetes juice. But it's delicious, though. It's actually really good, Betis juice. There's one that was spicy, that, like, actually you would eat it, and the juice inside was just spicy. It was, it was pretty insane. But yeah, it was, uh, very interesting, very interesting gummy bears. It's amazing how far we've come from gummy bears. Which, by the way, that seems like an abnormality. Eating a fuckload of gummy bears when you're a child. Like, how does that even come out? I always expected my poop to be, like, glued together. And, like, and, like, red and blue. I don't know how you even are supposed to digest shit like that. But it, we've come a long way from just, like, bears. Now there's lots of different things. There's lots of different ways to glue your poop together, like pina colada, for example. I visited dentists a lot in my life. Let's just leave it at that. I actually will avoid candy as much as possible. And I successfully have avoided candy. But like I said, the squish shit was, was pretty goddamn amazing. Me, Mike, and Joe ended up eating like... I don't know, 17 each? Oh fuck, you chozo! God damn it, dude! Nothing is to be trusted in this game. Not even your own suit. Not even yourself. Almond Joy? Yeah. Charge beam. Nice. I love how the charge beam affects your actual beam in this game. It makes it a little bit wider. Anyone else ever hear horror stories about how, like, the uh, people lost caps on their teeth because of, uh, certain candies? Like, the really chewy candies, and people, like, broke their teeth on jawbreakers? Because I heard those my whole life, which I'm not... The room after the charge shot, there's a secret? Okay. I'm not sure if those were old wives' tales, or things told to me so that I would not eat as much candy when I was a kid. Ooh, nice. But, yeah, there was- I've always heard tales of... of, like, people eating particularly chewy candy and then losing caps on their teeth. Which I'm sure is possible. I'm- I'm not doubting that at all. I, I don't think that's ever happened to anyone I know, personally, but... Someone said I lost two caps with bazooka gum. I broke my tooth on gummy candy, had it taken out and replaced- No sh- on gummy candy? Warheads? Oh man. Yeah, there are people in chat that lost fillings and, and caps and shit and broke teeth. It is real. Um, warheads were a thing. When I was, um, in middle school, or elementary school, whatever you want to call it, um, warheads were like a competition. Like, the, <laughs> to be- to be a cool bab in fifth grade, you had to be able to eat all the warheads. And like, the-, the as- okay, the more warheads you could- you could handle, like if you could handle like three or four at the same time, you were cool. Is 
Did I ever see the Ellie, Ellie Beast video where he eats warheads until his mouth bleeds? Oh, fuck off. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? That hurts just to hear. That actually... That sentence hurt me. Nope. Bad. Bad Samus. Bad Samus. Warhead comes in spray? Like, you can spray warhead juice into your mouth? What- what does that even mean? I don't- I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. I've, I missed a room. I'm gonna go back for that room. Okay. I didn't realize how awesome Cadbury chocolate was. Because we don't generally find Cadbury in stores in the US. Like, just at random delis. Or maybe it's just a New York thing. But then some people sent me Cadbury from, like, England and Australia. And I was like, okay. This is really good. And then... I found out... That there's, uh... A few stores that actually sell it locally. Just the milk chocolate. Cadbury milk chocolate. And... It is so much fucking better than Hershey's. Oh, it's a New York thing? Okay, maybe someone's saying it's a New York thing. Oh, this was just a save point. There was- there was nothing. I guess map percentage completion. Okay, here we go. Navigation room. We did it. We cleared out the things. Atmospheric stabilizers online, but many X have already made it to the other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2. Tro, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect X entered the sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in TRO now. Samus, get over there. We need you to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Start moving. I'll brief you at the TRO navigational room. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I'm getting Other M fly. It's amazing how Other M even makes this part of the game kind of bad. For me, I'm sorry. If, uh, you don't feel the same way. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. It, like, that really, none of that bothered me when it first came out, but now I'm thinking, it's just making me think about the story of Other M. And I really, really did not like that game's story. Rave culture? And Nightcore? I, I, I have no opinion on rave culture. I, I know very little to nothing about it. And Nightcore, as far as I know, is just speeding up music. And increasing the pitch of the music. Which I've heard for a number of my songs, and I, it just left me confused. So, I, I really don't know. Why was Other M so bad? You know, I did this once. And I've, I had, um, a number of people get salty with me because they loved Other M. So some people really like that game, but I'll explain why I don't like Other M in just a second. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus, it's an X mimicking you. I have named it the S-A-X. I believe the S-A-X came from a capsule containing, containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You're still very vulnerable to cold and unexpected effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready for the data room. In the data room, bombs will help you help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But, per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it your own on your own somehow. Good luck. Got it. Okay, this is where it gets... a little spoop. So, I didn't like Other M. I thought the gameplay was pretty weak overall. The setting 
was okay, but it, it was kind of... I don't know, it didn't really do it for me. Um, moving around in a 3D space with a D-pad... I didn't really like that. I didn't like having to switch the way I pointed the Wiimote to use missiles. But, it had some good gameplay stuff. It, the gameplay was actually probably one of the better parts of the game. On a whole. But, um... There's a lot of, like... You're not authorized to do this. I don't like the way the story... ...made Samus into a weak... ...character. Who just takes orders. You know, and, and then... Just, ...just random, pointless characters. Um, an emphasis on story in a series where story does not need to happen. A story in a Metroid game... ...is fine. Sure, it could be done right. But I feel like... ...what I want, and this is just my opinion, this is just my opinion. Remember that. You can have your own thoughts about Metroid story, that's- that's good. Your own thoughts are good. <laughs> but my thoughts are... ...that... My favorite Metroid games are the ones that give you only a little bit, and let you fill in the rest. And the sense of isolation, and being alone, and... ...the sense of- of just... ...just dread that you're on this alien planet by yourself. That's something that you can't really... ...you can't beat. But, there was an attempt at characterizing Samus that I think was awful. Um, and I don't- I just think the game did a lot wrong. So this game has, like, story, and you- you don't feel like you're alone in this game, you're- you know, completing objectives. But, there's- there's a little bit more to it than just... Babby. The Babby. The Babby. Yeah, you need permission to do anything in, a uh, in Metroid Other M. You just need permission. What's that, Master Adam? Can I do the thing? Do I have your permission, Master? Again, uh, the, the character of Samus gives no fucks and lives like a Windrammer, alright? Does not give a shit, sees future in balls, and does not have to kowtow to some idiot who won't even give her her abilities. But also, just- just the gameplay and- and just the- the whole overall of- of the game was just boring to me. Bland. Unmemorable. But I think that's why a lot of people would- would, uh, give that game shit. It's not just me. Like, I'm- you know, a lot of people have claimed that to be, in some ways, the death of the Metroid franchise. At least, until... The next game comes out, which at this point is Federation Force, everyone. Yeah, um, someone just said, I know you've been in a superheated room taking damage for a few minutes now, Samus, but only now do I give you permission to turn on your heat shield. Yeah, you you were you would take damage and be like like actually dying, but you could not gain permission to turn on your heat shield. Yeah, I think Axiom Verge did a good job at balancing story. And keeping you still in the dark enough that you felt you felt like you were alone and, and it was like really creepy and weird and the story didn't detract from the gameplay and that that feeling of, of isolation. Axiom Verge is the best Metroid game in years. I've said that before and uh, I, I love that game. Which Metroid game is my favorite? Uh, Super Metroid followed closely by Metroid Prime. Oh shit. SAX is here. That, 
blue thing was really fucking taking those those hits, sponging them up. It's amazing how Resident Evil 4 both rejuvenated the franchise and killed it at the same time. And I actually like Resident Evil 5. I think that's that's a great co-op game. I had a lot of fun with that one. Oh, look at that. That's, that's one thing they did to make uh, certain areas inaccessible, huh? bomb jump on this. Oh. oh. Oh, I'm fucked now. I'm stuck here forever, everyone. Game over. <laughs> what the fu- oh. Oh, could you look at that? That's scumbag. That's scumbag technology technological pole pole. <laughs> what is that words? <laughs> I think I just had a stroke. Help. I'm okay now. What was that thing doing there? It was one pixel to the left. God damn it. See now this is what's cool about this game. That SAX is giving me like some anxiety. It's like, you may not have the feeling of isolation so much. I mean, you do. Because you're, you're still on your own, above all. But, at this moment in time, I feel like I'm being stalked. Good job, Ben. I, I really mastered the eye walls, haven't I? The fuck? Oh, it's, it's like a fucking condom. Spiky condom. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Not over yet. High jump and jump ball abilities. I like that the <laughs> the, the spring ball is now just jump ball. They don't edge you on it. Just like, oh, here it is. Oh, fuck. SAX was here. Escape. Escape. Uh, delete. Escape. Escape. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't like that twitching bug thing. It's not good. Nope. I guess we're stuck here forever. Oh. Fuck off, fish! Oh, someone has to take a piss. They said pause the game. Go ahead. About Trifade. About Trifade. Go ahead. Take a piss. Alright. Piss time is- Piss time is over, snake! Samus, we've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. The SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4. Aqua, or AQA, with several thousand X. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. Currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Is your objective clear? Oh, fuck. well. SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. The entire universe. I'm thinking if you get enough Federation ships and just blast the fuck out of the general location where the SAX lives, you can probably get it killed. I mean, it is, after all, just Samus's power suit. I don't think the entire universe will bow. What about, like, a fucking army of space pirates? Concentrating their fire on one area. Samus can, you know, get killed. We've seen, I mean, you've seen me play Metroid games before. I get killed all the time. SAX can be killed. It can be beaten. This sector has taken more damage than expected. I knew the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. We certainly can't rule out the possibility pos 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 that the SAX has a high degree of intelligence. I find the X fascinating, especially this SAX. But I digress. The sector is home to a very large creature. The researcher is called Ceres. It is capable of moving and attacking at an ultra-high speed. The more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attributable to Ceres. No doubt the SAX released it, but I can't be sure why yet. Ceres has returned often to the breeding tank here. Its natural behavior must be to go back to it periodically. It's a valuable specimen, but you have been authorized to terminate it. If you don't, it may invade other sectors. You are authorized. While you're moving, be careful. Some broken power nodes have electrified the water, but we can't cut the power. Doing so would affect the whole station adversely. If you touch the water, you'll be electrocuted. Conserve energy as you go. This game is definitely moody. In its own way. those. Okay, does anyone else see a face in these water tanks? Like, kind of almost has like a Homer Simpson meets Easter Island look. Like some kind of ancient Egyptian art in some ways, too. 
the fuck is Cool Cat? Cool Cat is a mascot for kids created by a man who once starred uh, in the magazine Penthouse. Um, I think it was Penthouse. You know, that, that motherfucking fish. That motherfucking fish got me good. It, it, it's just about uh, how you shouldn't bully people. Because bullying is bad. And also... I mean, we're talking like expertly filmed. One of the best... Cinematography... Lessons you could watch if you're an aspiring filmmaker. Ah, uh, fuck! God damn, those things hit hard. Daddy Derek is apparently... I actually found the secret area by accident. I was holding left, and I just looked at the chat, and then I found myself in a new room. He's making a movie about gun safety for women. Oh, thank God Daddy Derek is active and staying busy. Man is a true hero, a true patriot. This game uses the Wario Land 4 engine. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, okay. The, the old Metroid charm. Running into a dead end. And then be like, wait a minute, well, what did I do wrong? Oh yeah, I have to bomb walls. Do I consider having to blindly shoot at walls a flaw of the Metroid franchise? Um, maybe. I never thought of it like that. I just thought of it as a Metroid thing. I mean, it, it definitely leads to you getting stuck in a number of locations because you, you missed a secret wall that maybe there was no indication of, of, of. No, I wouldn't. Maybe. I wouldn't necessarily say it's something that bothers me too much. You just get used to it and you just learn to explore your environment and, and analyze it. And then find areas where there may be a structural weakness, let's call them that. I don't have a lot of health. Now I have full health. The fuck, why is my finger- My fingertip is itchy! What the hell does that mean? You guys ever hear about that? Like, if your palm is itchy, it, it means good luck and you're gonna get money? What is- what does it mean when your fingertip is itchy? It's- it's Volvagia from, uh, Zelda. In fish form. Ah, uh, fuck off, dude. Ugh. Yeah, it's fast. It's real fucking fast. I know what upgrade I'm getting from this boss. Forty-nine health left. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. 
speed booster. It's a slow start for a speed boost. Last time on Metroid Fusion, I got the thing that makes you go really fast. The speed boots that were made for walking. That want to walk right over you. Hey, here's a bonus point on the quiz. Does anyone know who, who sang that song? And does anyone know what Stanley Kubrick movie that song was in? Oh shit. Ah, oh, trivia. Retrograde Roulette, you got it right, Nancy Sinatra. That's correct. Um, hang on. And Kubrick movie, while I lower this full metal jacket. Michael, you got it right, good job. You, you won. A vine sauce clay mold. Of Vine Swall's dick. Congratulations. Oh, fuck this thing. You guys remember what happened last time? Holy shit, those fish do so much damage. My favorite Kubrick movie? Oh, man. How do you... I can't choose, I'm sorry. It depends. It depends on my mood. Sometimes it's Clockwork Orange. Sometimes it's The Shining. Sometimes I'd Eyes Wide Shut. And other times... It's actually fucking Barry Lyndon, if you could believe it. That movie is not for everyone. But I think it's one of Kubrick's best. And it's, it's such a well-shot movie. And it, it feels, it really does feel like a fucking adventure. Pokemon? Yeah, I'll probably stream Pokemon. I, I liked Pokemon X. That was a fun stream. I'll probably stream uh, Pokemon Sun or Moon. Probably Moon, because Moon sounds cool. I have a song called Moon. Well, not Moon, but there's there's a title to it that it's, uh, it's still a work in progress. But see, I just gotta shill my music any chance I can get. Just gotta shill it. Not not that it's related conversation. Just 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 shill. It's called Goodbye Moon Men. Original concept, do not steal. I'm warning you... ...with peace and love. <laughs> do you think Ringo gives a shit? Oh, uh, someone said they liked the preview for my new song on Twitter. I posted a sample. Do not steal. You ready? If you missed it on Twitter, here's the the sample. Okay, this is a little little teaser for the next song that that we're going to put out. Shit. You hear that shit? All right. All right, here I'll give you one more. Give you one more. Shit. Thanks. Cool. All right, let's continue. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, actually, maybe I have to keep that going. Here we go. Nope. That is, in fact, not what I had to do. There's a lot of, um, people that were mentioning, like, what's better, Zero Mission or this? And I've replayed Zero Mission a bunch of times. I like Zero Mission a lot. I think that one, that's a very, very good re reimagining, not a remake necessarily, of the original Metroid. Because it is so, I mean, play the original Metroid. That game is fucking hard to navigate, and there's a lot of shit that is just, it will get you lost forever. Um, you can't do a lot in the original Metroid. It was, it was a very simple game for a different time. Different time. Oh, I need power bombs for that. But it's still it's still a good game. I, I still think the original Metroid is great in its own way. And and the the mood that that game 
would evoke was just unreal for the time. That, that game scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, especially seeing the, um, the bosses for the first time. But yeah, Zero Mission was great. Oh, I probably need Wave Beam for that, and maybe Gravity Suit of some sort for this. Oh, here we go. This is more like it. This is- this is designed to replicate the feeling of the planet, right? SR388? So this whole, like, ship is like a bio-environment for various species. Is- is that- is that accurate? I really don't think this is a good place to be right now. Oh, okay. But yeah, the remake is looking so good. I really hope they don't fuck it up. So Ceres had been infected by the X, too. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face the SAX yet, but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time it's a missile upgrade. You desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security lock. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas until it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room in Sector 2 is blocked by still more SAX activity. I notice- uh, I note a deliberate activity pattern as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Samus, it looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3. You'll find the PYR data room on your map after using a navigational room there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now head for Sector 3. I think another reason why I never replayed this game was because Metroid Prime had just come out as well, and that game fucking blew me away. And this one was, like, good. It was a good Metroid game, but Prime was, like, a different type of Metroid game, and I, I really loved that game. So I replayed that, and then when Zero Mission came out, that was the one I really focused on. I mean, that's why this series is so great. Like, I, I would... I would probably say Metroid is my favorite game series of all time. And that's mainly because of two games. Metroid, Prime, and Super Metroid. Also, a lot of people have been requesting for me to stream Prime. I already did, like, two years ago. So it's, it's not really been too long since then. Uh, but maybe again in the future, but not, not anytime soon. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow SAX and X parasites into the area, but we're left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. The data room is here, as I explained. Security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Tsamus. You will see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green. Release the lock and proceed to the data, loom data room for the free download super missiles. Yes. I like how they... Well, not really like, but... It, it's easier to wall jump, but they, they definitely made it harder to, uh... No. They definitely made it harder to actually get to areas to sequence break. In Metroid, um... God damn it. In Super Metroid, you could... You could, uh, jump, like, straight up a wall. In this game, you don't really get that kind of mobility. I I'm sure there's a thousand other sequence breaks that people have found by now. There are literally zero sequence breaks for this game. Are you serious? Is that true? There's really no- no sequence breaks? How about Zero Mission? Did that have sequence breaks? This has none, or just one, according to one chatter, and Zero Mission had quite a bit. Zero Mission had both intended and non-intended ones. I'm gonna have to stream Zero Mission, too, at some point. It's been a few years since I streamed that.
way longer. I streamed that way longer ago than I did Metroid Prime. So these dudes, these um, lizards that spit and also use their teeth to bite. These, these, these wall lizards were in Metroid 2. They were, they were on SR388, correct? I remember them, kind of. They, they shot like things from the wall. They were in a few areas. So in some ways, this game is almost kind of a, um, it almost is kind of a remake of Metroid 2. Well, not a remake, but it, it, it there's a, oh, never mind. There are elements of Metroid 2 in this game. And they were in Super Metroid, right, right. Okay, I think I know what to do. So I'm getting Metal Gear Solid 1 vibes from this song. There we go. Prime series had like fucking next level ball tubes. Oh shit. Wrong button. I need more speed. Sequence break. Oh, I did it. I did it, guys. I did the first discovered sequence break in, in Metroid Fusion history. And there's nothing up here. This does not diminish the effects of my accomplishment. Uh-oh. SAX, I think, was here. Um, and again, for anyone just joining, I have played this game when it first came out. Oh, shit. So that was 2002. How long ago was that? 14 years ago? So, yeah, this, this feels like a new game for me, because I don't remember it at all. Yeah, yeah, jump on it. Good job, Vin. Okay, I see. Ain't no sequence high enough. Someone in chat just said that room is too hot for me. What, you mean like it's gone sexual? <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is bad. See, this room has a little dot on it. Does that mean that there's a, a, an item in here? Okay, nope, no, 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 we don't go in there. Oh, dear fucking god. Nope, nope. Uh, ah, yeah. Um, what? I'm, I'm having, like, malfunctions with the controls here. Oh, okay, I have to hold- I was holding the wrong button. Whoops. Okay, 
Okay, so that I can't get. Um, someone said I missed an E-Tank. So that's just gone forever now, right? You can still get it. Go back to where you fought the moss to get the E-Tank. Um, I don't, uh, I might be able to go back up there, maybe. Uh, it's not gonna make it easy for me. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't think it, it's gonna be easy at all for me to get up there. So that's two missed E-Tanks so far that I could have had early. Or at the appropriate time, I should say. I'm just making this game harder for myself. God damn it. Would I take a Metroid for dinner? Good question. Good question. Yeah, I mean, if... If it paid, if it paid the bill, I would go to dinner with a Metroid, but I, I wouldn't actually treat the Metroid. I see that you encountered a rogue security robot. <coughs> you may destroy it if you meet it again, your safety is vital, but... As to your brief, level 2 security locks are released. So sectors 5 and 6 are open. That means those sectors have likely been infiltrated by X. They're much harder to stop than we initially suspected. Sector 5, ARC, is sub-zero. I can't think of a fatality joke in relation to- then eh, never mind. You're still susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effects, so you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Avoid Sector 5 for now, but in the meantime, HQ is working on data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. Once you have the transmission, you can download, but the X have destroyed all the data rooms you've used so, so far. I no longer doubt their capacity for critical thought. You'll have to use the data room in the Night Hobbit. Sector 6. Okay, Sector 6 it is. Tread lightly, Samus. You're the only one who could do this. The X may be much more dangerous than we know. Yo, how about we get off the ship and set the ship to self-destruct? That'll work, right? Incoming dispatch. What's this? Does Samus suspect anything? No, I do not think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Out. Oh shit, conspiracy time. So does that imply that Samus listened in, or just me, the player? Because... You know, I am Turok. Just the player. The various suit data is here from HQ. Ready to download, get moving to a data room. But there's a problem. X from the Sub-Zero Sector arc are in Sector 6, and they... They've been changed by the cold. If you absorb one, you'll be frozen from within. This seems like a deliberate tactic. Once you download the various suit modification, you'll be out of danger. Just be extremely careful until then. God damn it, these guys. Use your beam to stun them in order to get by. Yeah. They're hunting you actively now, Samus. Oh, that's creepy. You sons of bitches. And this area is very dark. Proceed with extreme caution. I wonder if, like, I could get a flashlight, like in Doom 3. This isn't very dark. As much as I love Half-Life 1, and would consider it to be one of my favorite games, some of the flashlight... The flashlight kind of blew in Half-Life 1. You know, it, it was really, really small radius, and it didn't really do a good job at lighting things. Half-Life 2 did a much better job with that. Okay, let's just get hit by all of them. It's good. It's good. S-G-U-D. It's good. Oh, cock! Stay cool! Icy freeze! Ah! I look at the chat for two seconds. Fucked by a bug. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh my god! This room. Should've just run. Oh shit. Um, no one here. No, no, no one here. Um, hi. How are you? Oh fuck.
Escape. Escape. Someone in chat just said Mario has logged in. <laughs> Why? I guess I could probably go that way. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna attempt- I'm gonna attempt to go to the right this time. Oh... We... You could just let that happen. <laughs> Fuck this level! Oh, that's such bullshit! Oh my god! No! No, 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 no! Oh, dicks! Oh, I didn't mean to run after it. I just- I fell down. The, the level collapsed underneath. So I guess we're doing this again. SAX. Look at that trolley level design. I probably, yeah, I could have outrun the SAX if I had just shot instead of used bombs earlier. So there is, there, there is a method to escape. Yeah, getting it all sneaky deaky like. Wine made by the French. God damn it. They took away my data. Okay, so we have a we have a boss. Boss is happening. Requires charge shot. Thought I had to penetrate its, um, its minions with missiles, but nope, charge shot it is. There we go. Gotcha. Kind of looks like the color scheme of this suit almost looks like... I, I don't want to say bloody boogers, but I'm going to say bloody boogers. Can't touch this. Crayola is uh, issuing a new color soon. Bloody booger. Or clown vomit, as some kind members of the chat have informed me. Uh, I can get behind that. Jelly Belly is releasing a new flavor soon. Don't even joke about that. Alright. Clown vomit is a sacred resource and should not be defiled by those Jelly Belly folks looking to make a quick dollar. If he eats something, and then the camera cuts away, just after he starts chewing, that means he didn't like the dish. What the fuck is this? <laughs> They're fucking turning into missiles now to fool me. I watched uh, a bit of Ramsey. Um, I've watched some uh, Guy Fieri, sure. I mean, Guy Fieri's fun to watch just because he's such a clown. And, um, he's got those catchphrases. Yeah, flavor town, yeah! But he does actually 
from what I understand, even though he's like kind of a fool and a lot of people give him shit, the dude does help out a lot of local businesses, and apparently he's a really nice guy. Like, so he, sure, he's, he's, you know, got a funny haircut, and like he says crazy, Yeah, flavor tail! But, you know, that doesn't mean he's not a cool guy. Like, maybe he's a really nice guy and he helps out a lot of people. I, maybe I'm just attracted to him, I, I don't know. How did that X download the various suit data? This doesn't seem to make any sense at all, unless the X... Unless the X have the ability to process data organically. At any rate, you have the various suit data. Now you'll be protected from extreme temperatures. More importantly, the SAX will no longer be able to freeze you, so you can escape easier. But you're still too weak. That thing is too much for you. You currently have no way of damaging it. But my simulations indicate that a penetrating weapon like the plasma beam might work. Developing modification data will take HQ some time though. There's also a chance that you may be able to restore your plasma beam by absorbing a large core X, as you did with the charge beam function. As for the restoring, or as for restoring ice beam functionality, I doubt it. Your current cellular makeup would reject that addition. Therefore, HQ has developed an ice missile upgrade. This will add a freezing effect to your missiles. It will help. Go to Sector 5 for the download. Cool. Yeah, this game is, uh, this game is good. I forgot about the ice missiles. I, I like that twist. Years ago, I like it now. Do I dine in his Times Square restaurant? No. I- there's no... There's no excuse for dining in Times Square. It's so fucking expensive, and most of the shit in there is just chain restaurants that you can find anywhere else. Applebee's. Just go to 9th Avenue, and there's a bunch of good food over there that's a little bit better priced. That's, like, actual, like, cool New York food. When I say cool New York food, I mean, like, just a variety of different shit. That's one of the good things about New York. You might find a thousand different types of restaurants within a two-block radius. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but it's just crazy. The melting pot qualities of New York City are amazing. Um, and, yeah, Times Square is... I would say, for a tourist, people ask me about, like, touring, um, experiment with those new missiles, they'll be helpful. Got it. People ask me about, like, um, Vinny, I'm coming to New York, what should I, um, what should I do? You have any suggestions? And I'll email them back and I'll, I'll give them, like, a little list, or... I, I usually have, like, a copy post that I give them, because I get the question so many times, but I, I'll put a little personal twist on it. That said, I'll tell you now, if you ever visit New York, Two things you want to avoid are eating in Times Square and taking the train at night. <laughs> no, the train at night, even that's not that bad these days, really. It's it's perfectly safe. What I would say is, um, avoid eating in Times Square is number one. And also, maybe, like, just plan to only spend, like, 20 minutes in Times Square. You don't need more than that. Times Square is is all well and good, but it's, it's expensive. It's a tourist trap. It's packed. It's really, really not worth the time. It's nice to see just the sight of it. Like, I would almost recommend 20 minutes max of Times Square, because it is fun to look at for a little bit, but then you'll just you'll get bored of it really quickly, and it's like, nope. So don't do Times Square. Also, don't, um, don't do the Empire State Building. Go to the top of another building, because that way you can see the Empire State Building from the top of that building, and also the wait times are much shorter. Like, find a tall building that has tourism, but don't, um, don't do, like, the Chrysler Tower or the, you know, time or the Empire State Building, because you're gonna wait a long time, there's gonna be a, expensive, there's gonna be a lot of people. So, find a tall building, but maybe not one that would be the obvious answer. Um, definitely check out the East Village, the West Village. A lot of really good stuff over there, a lot of cool restaurants, a lot of cool stores. It's got a more, um, the, the feel of the villages are, are a little bit more, I don't want to say intimate, but maybe intimate is the word I'm looking for, I, I don't know. And you can walk around. What's wrong with the food in Times Square? It's expensive. That's what I, I mean, you could eat there, I mean, I'm sure it's, some of the places are cool, but it's really expensive and, oh, whoops. And most of it's just chain restaurants, like fucking Fapplebee's. So, I would say, go eat dinner in the West Village, grab some John's Pizza, which is amazing. And across the street is Keste, which is also amazing pizza. 
Um, don't go to the Statue of Liberty, because it's, again, expensive, it'll take you a while, it's not really worth it when you're there. Take the Staten Island Ferry instead, it's free. 25 minute ferry ride. Good visuals. It's a, a cool ride. And you get to see the Statue of Liberty and take some pictures of it from the water. Then, once you're here on Staten Island, get right back on the ferry and get the fuck out of here. So, those are my... Those are my, uh, tourist tips for New York City. If you're gonna do tourism, go to Brooklyn. You know, maybe go to Astoria, Queens, go to- definitely go to Manhattan. Um, Rockefeller Plaza is pretty cool. You can go to Nintendo World. Um, Nintendo World is also a little bit disappointing in some ways, because it's a very small store. Like, you're not going to, like, a theme park, a Nintendo theme park, and that off-puts some people. But it is cool, if you're a big Nintendo fan, there's probably some cool shit to see over there. And- and there's- there's some other cool shit to look at. If you have, um, three hundred dollars sitting around, you could go to the NBC store and buy some Jimmy Fallon guitar picks for thirty dollars. What's that? You want a Tonight Show mug? You got forty bucks? <laughs> it's really expensive. Oh, the Intrepid's cool, yeah, the Intrepid's awesome. Someone just asked me where I could find- where you could find hookers on Staten Island. I'd like to sadly announce that, uh, there is no- there- I do not have that information. I'm not legally obliged to it, it reveal the information. Vin, where's the place with the giant gold bull? So that's Lower Manhattan, Fred. That's, uh, the financial district. That's downtown, where all those protests took place a while back. And, uh, yeah, that's Wall Street, pretty much. Uh, it's... I used to work in Jersey City, so I kind of was over there a lot. And, um, downtown Manhattan is- is beautiful. And there's, again, a lot of great restaurants, but, uh, not as- maybe not as cool. As some of the other places you could visit, but yeah, the Bull is a huge tourist trap, so... Oh, you cut! Fucking fake E-tanks. Have I ever met a Vine Sauce fan on the street? Um, actually, yeah. On a few occasions. I, I met a few Vine Sauce people that recognize me locally on Staten Island and, and um, a few times in the city as well. Just like twice. Nothing major. Kind of glad that doesn't happen. Um, I like the attention online. It's nice, right? Everyone wants to, I think, to some extent, have an audience and people that would watch what they do um, and listen to their music, for example. But uh, at the same time, I don't think I can handle getting recognized on the street on a daily basis. I, I don't think I could do it. Like someone, like I said before, like George Clooney. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta, that's gotta be rough. Bill Murray had a, a big talk about this. Bill Murray was... Like, you know, if you could- if you had the choice between rich and famous, just take the rich- just be rich, man. Don't be famous. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, he said it much cooler because he's Bill Murray, but, uh, yeah. That was the sentiment, and I- I enjoy the sentiment. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a good- that's a really good idea. Oh, nice! That's really good shit. I would- I would not have even thought of that. See, puzzle solving with enemies. Definitely something that makes this game unique in the series. Have I ever thought about putting pizza rolls on top of pizza? WHAT?! Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes, I have thought about that once. I don't know why I've thought about it, but I have. Maybe three of the episodes. Maybe three were good. Oh shit, what was that? Rest in peace, Skull Mother. I want to know what that big shadow was. 
I didn't like it. No, sir. I need super bombs. What? Okay. Well, I mean, I still have to save my game. <laughs> the last Metroid is in captivity. Um, emergency in sector two. Area could melt down. It seems the main boiler's cooling unit is malfunctioning. This could get easily. This could easily destroy the entire research station. It would likely trigger the auto destruct dis explosives. We have about six minutes. Hurry to sector three. Oh shit. Um, are down because of this. We know who to blame. The SAX must have hacked into the system file. What an impressive intelligence. So the question I keep getting over and over and over again from people that keep joining is, I, Vinny, have you played this before? Vinny, uh, did you ever play this before? Or why don't you know the game you have played it before? Because I played it only one time when it first came out 14 years ago. So this is this a lot of this feels brand new to me, which is great. It's like I get to re-experience an amazing game. Considering there are no new Metroid games coming out for a while. Ha! <laughs> Federation Force! This is kind of a, a really, really nice treat for me. I love it. So I guess we're gonna go down the this door is open. And again, this is open too. I'm not really sure. Where to... I'm not gonna. When I play Federation Force, and I will play Federation Force, I'm not gonna view it as a Metroid game necessarily. I'm gonna. I'm gonna view it as its own thing. And I think I will enjoy it because of that. Then he go right. Okay. Oh no. Oh, guys, I, I, I made a boner. Boners were made. This isn't good. Rushing and taking lots of damage. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. Three minutes remaining. Yes. Ow. <laughs> no! That wasn't a man. That wasn't a scientist. That was a fucking parasite. How did how did they assimilate into a human? Wide beam ability recovered. Beam widens dramatic. This is is this the first game and only game with a wide beam in it of the Metroid series? Wide beam. <laughs> like, like, why not just the wave beam? 
So we kind of covered everything we missed in the past two months, and uh, we have vowed that we're not going to let it go another two months without a, a podcast update. So the X mimicked a crew member. It all makes sense now. The X can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. What an astounding find. HQ was very impressed. But don't you find it strange that this could have destroyed the station with the X in it? Not to mention the SAX. Unusual for a self-preserving species like the X. Unless uh, your presence is an even greater threat. A threat to the existence of X elsewhere. This is only a hypothesis. Perhaps their survival instinct is in conflict with their newly borrowed intelligence. Don't let your guard down yet. The X are still a threat. Samus. Oh, was, why, why did the music stop? Did something fucking happen? It was, it was stylistic. Stylistically bold. I see that the bio signs on the habitation deck. Survivors? Uh, infected crewmen you saw had survived until recently. Maybe there's a chance the signs emanate from here. Is your objective clear? I have just restored power to the main elevator. Use it to return and look for any survivors. Alright, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Oh, this is a thing. Oh look, it's the animals. Despite my best efforts to kill these cunts, they still live. Uh, you know what? To be fair, they did teach me a thing or two. They, they taught me how to wall jump, and the other one taught me how to scoot, and... So, I mean, they're alright, I guess. Go up that way. Go up there. I think I have to wait for it to extend. Extend. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that wasn't enough extension. Ah, fuck! Alien chest burster. Okay, I think I see what I have to do. Let's go down this way. Yeah. Okay. And there's this way. So Twitch, I mentioned, implemented this new thing where if you subscribe, you don't get ads. And that actually was defaulted to my channel. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Uh, I kind of, my, my original question was, is this actually going to end up inspiring people to subscribe, considering ad block is so incredibly rampant and useful and the answer most people said was nope but it was defaulted it just kind of defaulted for most channels so I'm just gonna leave it on but um you have my permission if you have ad block leave that shit on I don't mind uh, yeah, they're- they're still a thing, and apparently, again, this was, like, without them really even telling people, they just left it on. They just turned it on, but yeah, you- you definitely- you definitely do not need this functionality if you already use adblock. They did it before and it already failed to do anything? Huh. Well, I don't know, one thing I don't understand about the ad system on Twitch is that people tell me they get ads during, like, weird times of my stream when I have absolutely nothing to do with that. Like, I was under the impression that the only time you get an ad was when I press the ad button. And then I'm starting to suspect that it just kind of happens at random. And I'm kind of pissed about that. Can anyone confirm this? 
According to Konome, those are ads that benefit Twitch only. Oh, okay. Well, if those things happen, and that's annoying, and I see people complaining about it, let me explain what you can do. Alright? Uh, Twitch is gonna fucking hate me for this. If anyone from Twitch is watching, I apologize, but I really, at this point, I think that's that's something that you guys should probably be a little bit more proactive about letting people know, because I didn't even know that was a thing, but if that happens, Google a thing called Adblock Plus, A-D-B-L-O-C-K, with a plus sign, and I think it'll work for, there's one for Firefox, there's one for Chrome, pretty much every browser, I would imagine, has that add-on. Oh shit. Edicoons and... Decor is. I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had, but where do they run to? I hope they're safe. They're fine. They're good. It's good animals. Save them. So yeah, you can just install that and you won't get ads when you watch my stream. I've told you guys this before. The only time I queue an ad is at the end of the stream is and when I take a piss break. So, uh, otherwise, if you're getting ads during, like, moments that ruin your, your streaming experience, just use Adblock. Seriously. Because, uh, I didn't know about that. That's kind of bullshit. Well... Okay then, today we're going to play some great games, Metroid Fusion, followed by a game called Bartleby's Lumpkin, which is almost as good as Derbyshire's and the Kettle of Warrington, but not quite as good. Then after that, a game called Doom, and then there is a, another lovely game called Me Alienating my UK audience because they think I'm making fun of them but I love them almost as much as I love the game Great Grimsby I swear there there actually is no Bartleby's Lumpkin which I'm imagining is something I'm going to have to explain a number of times over and over again I it just you know it was just something that was it was on my mind, you know. England came up in conversation a number of times today, and I decided that it would be it would be a great, great game to put on the old ticker. <laughs> just get the, yep, yep. Just just completely fucking fail at English accents. It's so much fun. Anyway, welcome back to Metroid Fusion. Last time on Metroid Fusion, I rescued the animals. They didn't deserve it, but I did it anyway. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm feeling, you know, today my sinuses are acting up a bit. Um, I, I wasn't home today. I was working on some music and, uh, went to dinner. But, um, after that, I was like, yeah, you know, I want to play Bartleby's Lump Gun. So I decided I would stream. But I am feeling better, um, mostly. My laryngitis is kind of diminishing a bit, but my, my sinuses are still... It still feels like I'm, I'm a little sick, and it sucks, but I'm feeling better and better each day. So the survivors were not human, most unfortunate. We can now confirm the deaths of all crew members. I imagine this was the case, but I had hoped it wasn't so. I believe the X only infected the humans for knowledge. That form is too weak for battle. I'm sure the others were merely food for the X. Samus, I think they're evolving, growing stronger. Some are now appearing that resist your current weapons. HQ anticipated this and sent powerbomb data as soon as the hardware team finished it. It's weird because it... Arc. Okay, we're going to Sector 5. The limitations bother me in a lot of ways. Like the, you know, go around, do this, do that. Um, the idea that you have to, like, kind of <coughs> take orders and find out where things are in that way is still a little off-putting compared to my favorite Metroid game. 
favorite Metroid games, I should say. That said, there's another aspect of it where this game makes it in enticing. Because it makes it part of a story. And it kind of makes it also so that the items are as important as advancing the plot. Which I'm okay with. I'm just curious, what do you guys think is better? Metroid Prime 2 or Metroid Prime 3? Not one. We know one is amazing. I know one is great. I love it. But what do you guys think? What's better than... What's better? Metroid Prime 2 or 3? A lot of 3. Okay, it's almost even. Okay, now it's not even anymore. Now there's mostly 2s. Okay. Alright. Well, well, it's, it's kind of still a little bit even, but mostly, I would say... More 2 than 3. People seem to like 2 a little bit better. That's okay, I didn't need a straw poll, I just wanted to take a quick sight check. 2 is still, like I said, it, it's a hard game. It's a game that's very rewarding, but I, I gave up on it when I first uh, played it. And I had to come back to it a few years, or a few months, or maybe a year later or something like that. But um, when I did, when I did come back to it, it was amazing. And, and incredibly rewarding. But 3, actually, I, you know, at the time, I really liked the motion controls. I remember, oh god, when the Wii came out, I was really, like, itching to see how the the system would handle first-person shooters. I thought it was gonna revolutionize first-person shooters. And to be fair, I think it did first-person shooters pretty well. When they were done right, it felt pretty good. There was some good shooting stuff on the, on the Wii but it was still a lot of dreck. Uh. <laughs> the conduit? <laughs> I remember that. Wasn't the conduit supposed to be like this revolutionary looking Wii game that was supposed to be totally modern? And then the cover art <laughs> that they revealed was disgusting. Look, <laughs> look, at, that, look at that dude's face. <laughs> Here it is! Wait a minute, here's the real one. Oh dear fucking god. What would that- I mean seriously guys, who here is so impressed that they have to go out and buy it? This motherfucker, he stole Snake's lower half, combined it with some kind of like mech power armor top half that's totally one- one color, and he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> If you're good at- listen, if you're gonna do Space Marines, keep the helmet on. Just- just keep the helmet on. I'll show you what I'm- what I'm talking about. Here was the Conduit too. Right, now that, at least it's bland, it's kind of Call of Duty. You know, it's one of those things, but at least he's wearing a helmet. <laughs> and it doesn't look as trash. His ski glass. he's gonna go see skiing. It just prevents him from getting snow in his eyes. Aw, oh, dude! Dude, let me show you. I've got, um, a sick ski suit, bro. So this is how you reveal secrets in this game. Let me show you. No, that's not how. That's not how I'm going to show you. <laughs> Your name is Con Jonduit. <laughs> so I just said Con Jonduit, which is probably the greatest Space Marine government agent name I've heard ever. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it. No, no, run away. Go away. No one here. No one here. <laughs> is it coming back? Why is it coming back? Don't come back. No, 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 no. Stay. Go away. Stay away. Also, happy birthday, Captain Southbird. It is confirmed that today is his birthday. 
Congratulations, you lived. Wow, that was a really... <laughs> that was a really... interesting way to lead into a power bomb upgrade. Just scared the shit out of me with the SAX. I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't really exist. If I- if someone makes a game called Bartleby Lumpkin, I'll fucking play it, okay? You've got my word. My word as a Lancashirian. I will fucking play the, uh, game known as Bartleby and his- his Lumpkin. Yeah, prospecting game developers. Make it happen. Make it the most English game ever. Well, this isn't how you do this. Fuck that. Mother of Christ. Ah! Well, I'm freezing it too far from me. Ya poope. Yeah, that's that's too close. See that's that was too close to me. You gotta get it right in the middle. Oh come on. Dude, there's pixels. There's free pixels. Adam Sandler starring in a video game smash hit of the of the decade. Pixels coming soon. The sequel to Pixels. Pickles starring Rob Schneider as a pickle. Oh, I just I just wanna I just wanna eat a pickle. Don't do it. It's me, Rob Schneider. Did my pickle just talk? The laugh out loud, rock 'em, sock 'em, go fuck yourself hit of the summer. Where Rob Schneider is a pickle and Adam Sandler, god damn it, is supposed to not eat him. But I'm so hungry! I just want a pickle! It sounds like my pickle's talking to me, but I think I'm crazy! You just need a sister from another mister! This is what happens when you what you press my back up against the wall in a video game. I, I just lose my shit. Oh my god! Jill, I put the pickle in my mouth, and it sounded like it was talking! Oh, you're crazy, Adam! You're crazy! You're crazy, Okay, that's the end of that. This is required. This, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do Jill's voice. Hey, this thing, like, poops. It sounds like it's saying weep. Mowie, 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 Mowie. Go to your highest point, my my disgusting poop pooping friend. Wow, that that fit. Samus, return to your ship. I have important information for you. That was vague. So, what do you plan on doing to my daughter? Hmm? Um, Mr. Scrungo, I just want, um, I just want to talk to your daughter, um, for, like, a little bit about the school, a uh, school assi assignment. Yeah? You sure you're not interested in my daughter sexually? No, Mr. Scrungo, I don't even know what sex is! Mr. Scrongo, I mean. This and and thus this was the way of the world. Those Scrongos were sons of bitches. Oh. 
Oh, fuck Ridley. Oh shit, Ridley. Ice Ridley. This is creepy as fuck. All I'm saying is you haven't lived until you've been grilled by one of your friend's parents about potentially smoking weed. That's good shit. Recommended. Recommended viewing. You better not be smoking weed with my son. I don't even know who he is, Mr. Scargo! I'm from the 70s, okay? I'm from the 70s. I know what it's about, okay? I smoked reefer, okay? I know. I listened to Led Zeppelin. No Quarter, you know No Quarter? Okay, I smoked. You know, I watched all the th Fantastic Planet, okay? I used to get with, with the Sativa, uh, Purple Haze, Acapulco Gold. I used to smoke. Nah, it was, you know, I, I liked, personally, I liked the Sweet Mary Jane. That was my favorite one, but, I mean, you can't, you kids, you can't be smoking weed. I smoked when I was 12. I still do from time to time, but you kids are smoking weed? No, oh, Mr. Scrongo. Now we just have cell phones. The main silo of the reactor core has gone offline. That's why all elevators and station systems are down. Elevators and hatches won't work. This doesn't bode well if you can't. If you can get to this point, you may be able to start the auxiliary power system. Then we can figure out why the main silo went offline. Is your objective clear? Yeah. I asked you to return here to tell you some strange creatures have boarded your ship. I confirmed that they were not the ex-hosts and gave them a berth. Do you know anything about these strange creatures? Were the source of the healthy biosigns earlier? Very well, then their presence in the midst of this disaster must have some significance. I will keep them here. That's why I'm here? For the, for the fucking animals? I like how Chris Pratt in Jurassic World calls them animals. Yeah, right, these are my animals. All right, I love them. They're they're my babies. Um, no, they're um di dinosaurs. No, nope, they're animals. They are animals in a technical level. Yeah, they are. They are animals. But I mean, then then you go a little deeper, and they're dinosaur animals. But yeah, they're you know Chris Pratt was like very insistent on calling them animals, so as not to scare the baboos. Does that mean we're animals, you and I? I thought we were made of stars. How come... are we also animals? This looks like a... a fucking... science experiment with potatoes gone wrong. this boss. Oh, it's a spider! Please, God, take it away. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, he's, yeah, he's a scumbag. He's a scumbag, let me tell you. Tell you what. It's best to roll around as a ball fella. What is this throwing at me? Like, like, centipedes? This game knows exactly the things I hate. Thank fucking God for missiles. We ain't done yet. Now we done. Talk about fucking cutting it down to the wire. Jesus. It's still a little bit difficult to... Well, not difficult, but, you know, you can't just jump... Mash the jump button endlessly. There's a rhythm to this, like in Super Metroid. Also, congrats Vinny on beating that annoying boss on the first go. I'm 
remember that stopping a playthrough of this for me for like a month. No shit. Someone else just said it's the hardest boss in the game. I don't know about that, but I mean... Uh, that, yeah, I mean, he almost fucking murdered me. Save rooms and recharge rooms are back online, but with it, like, only auxiliary power, no elevators or hatches will work. Without the main silo online, we're still stuck. But the source of the problem is the vegetation you saw earlier. Choking the reactor core. I have to find the source of those roots to proceed. Guys, we're gonna play a mix of Flip Cup and Scrabble with our celebrity guests. Who's our celebrity guest today? Oh, pop culture icon from 1983 and no other time. Sounds, uh, sounds like, sounds like a good show. Woo, boy, that does a lot of damage. God damn, those fucking things hit hard. Wow. Also, for the record, I, I jest about Jimmy Fallon. He's not my favorite late guy, a late night guy by a long shot, but every now and then he has a, a decent bit or a guest or something. He's he's all right. I don't I don't love, I don't really love his show, but he's fun. I don't know what's happening here, and I don't like it. It's a lot of roots. Gotta get the fuck out of here quick. Sucks. Oh, I forgot you can freeze her. I waited for the, the fucking bomb to blow up, but I should have shot downwards. See, so, uh, that's just that's just anus. That's anuses! Shooting down wouldn't have done it. It, it would have, it would have had to have been a missile. So un until I figured that out, I would have probably been fucked anyway. Jesus, I have so little health. I'm gonna need that save point. They, they fucking nope. Save point disabled. Can't go in there, bro. Good mother of, of okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. The other dudes did way more damage than those dudes. This entire section of the game is, is fucking intense. Thank God. Someone in chat just said, stop trying to wall jump, just do the space jam. They should do Space Jam 2, but instead of Looney Tunes, they do like some Chechenian knockoff. Like, like fake Looney Tunes that no one's ever heard of. Like, um, you know, the stuff you might see on like a book bag in Chechnya. Uh, it's, uh, it's super bunny. 
I didn't save? Oh. Whoops, I, I was... Oh, I should <laughs> Remember to look at the screen when you save and not the chat. Got it. Blogan Duck. <laughs> the famous duck. D Dendigar. The, the, the elephant. Throw Dendi in there, fuck it. Oh, I would love that. I, lo I would love if Space Jam 2, like, like, happened, but they didn't have the budget to get all the Looney Tunes. <laughs> so they just, they just included, <laughs> like, knockoff shitty versions. That would be so fucking fantastic. Can someone draw that? <laughs> that would be great. Just make up a bunch of bootleg Looney Tune characters. Like, like, two or three or four. Someone in chat says, Vinny, can you go 10 minutes using the English degree you worked so hard to earn? What do you mean, worked hard to earn? It's an English degree. I I'm not trying to prove a thesis here. I'm trying to stream video games and make stupid noises. <laughs> this is not a TED talk, comrade. That's cool. No, 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 go back. I like in, I like being in there. Get me back in. Get me back in, please! So it turns out you gotta hold the jump button. Because if you just tap it, you don't get out of there. So I was trying to kill the flowers so they could stop, like, doing nasty things to me. Turns out, that is not how you play this at all. You, you have to... You have to attack the, the young Chozo bird. That, oh, that does look like a Chozo. Definitely get some Super Metroid vibes from this section. Let me show you good jump timing, everyone. Yes! Yes! No. Oh, fuck, no, I needed that! Oh! Oh, AIDS! Fucker. Oh shit. No! Oh! Get me out! Scum! Scum! Goodbye, voice. Well, this, this boss is, I find way harder than Spider-Man. Honestly, I found that was, to me, that was harder than Spider-Man. I mean, it was, it was simple patterns, but still, pain in the dick. Just getting stuck in the water is, is, is a real fucking killer. Oh, hey, I got plasma at least. Plasma's good. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's the fuck beam. The beam of, uh, the beam of unmerciless fucks. Wait, unmerciless? That that's kind of a double negative, isn't it? The beam of mercy fucks, I, I may as well have said. How great would it be if I could do that boss again? I've never wanted anything more in my life. Uh, it doesn't look like there's... No, I don't think there is a hidden recovery room in this shaft. Oh, oh, is it this long shaft? Because this shaft is even fucking longer. Obvious jokes. That I won't make at the moment. Because they're not... I wouldn't even call them jokes. Bup, 
Oop, uh, what the fuck? Oh, nice. Double power bomb. Gotta play the power ball tonight, boys. Gotta win the lotto tonight. If I keep playing, I, I might win. What? You've restored plasma beam functionality. Most unexpected. Even so, continue to avoid the SAX. It too may be stronger. And you still lack a few abilities crucial to survival. Wait, wait a second. More trouble. Hold on. I've isolated the cause. There's been an explosion in the ARC data room. Samus, go to Sector 5. Is your objective clear? Yes. The damage is staggering. Find out what's causing it. This, um... This suit continues to look like something... Something of a Mexican food mistake. That came back up. Like, I can see the cilantro and the chorizo. It seems to have gotten worse. The damage seems to have been caused by a creature kept here by the researchers who named it the Nightmare. Apparently, it was a biomechanical organism designed for military applications. It possesses uncommon power and can manipulate gravity. We must assume that it's become an ex-host. You have no choice. You must find it and defeat it. I can't confirm the location. Yeah, I can't wait to die to the, the nightmare. Get me off the station. Oh, this place got fucked up. This place got fucked up too. Whoa. It's it's a wonder this spaceship hasn't like sprung a leak. You know, one of these monsters is gonna fucking put a hole through the wall. Why did it turn, it turn into a beautiful mermaid? What the fuck? I don't like it. No, I need my... Oh, fuck, here it is. Here's, here's Nightmare, everyone. <coughs> I think. Is this Nightmare? Why is its, like, face, its mouth is, like, stitched? It's fucking up gravity. Oh, look at it, it's so weird. Dripping with mucus, and it hurts! It hurts! Ah! Clutch? No, nope, no, no clutch. Can't really attack him from the front. Okay, that sucks. You, you gotta hit him, like, pretty fucking dead on. Definitely not performance issues affecting the frame rates. And that's, yep, that's gonna be that. Oh, we're going again? We're, we're, st we're still moving? Oh my god, what's wrong with your fucking face? Yeah. 
I hate it. I hate- I absolutely loathe this boss. Looked like he was going in the opposite direction. He wasn't. Well, this is it. I got it this time. I, I've, I've said that before, but this, this time it's a confirmation. I just I missed the thing, but I don't, I don't care. It's fine. Just patience. Believe in me, everyone. Come on, believe. I, if you can believe, then I can do. And I believe in myself, too. Also, this is, um, whoever suggested that I save scum, this is the Wii U version. This is, this is the Virtual Console version. There's no safe scumming in baseball. This movement pattern, though. It's so annoying. A uh, nice awkward angle that I can't attack him from. Yep, do that extra damage. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop! Stop! I have no voice! I can't do this! I hate him! I hate- I- I hate this boss! Holy shit! Get fucked! Over- look, over half my health remains. Amazing. That was- uh, yeah. You just said, find the right pixel. Yeah, I didn't get the tank, too. Oh, and now I have the suit. That can make me... ...breathe underwater like a beautiful sea creature. John and the Big Beef, coming at you in the morning! Hey, John, how do you like your Big Beef cooked? Oh, you know what I mean! Well, you know, bitch, here in the morning show, we like to do things a little different. Ah, right? We like to have naked women, disgusting stories, and prank calls. No one else in the country is delivering this content. What do you think, Big Beef? I agree. Oh. Today we got a new co-host. His name is Slow Cooked Beef. Hey, Slow Cooked, tell me a little bit about your dick. Fuck. I missed the energy tank again. Or, or I can just do that. Yeah, that also works. How about, um, beef cooked in a crock pot as a new- another co-host? Hey! It's Zip Zoom and the- and the morning beef! <laughs> yes, that's what I- that's the name of my- my shock jock early morning radio show. It would be Zip Zoom and the morning beef. Alright, here we go. Someone said I have a nice beard. How do you know what my beard looks like right now? Alright. Close your eyes. Alright, you just got a three-dimensional ASMR of my beard, which is still pretty shitty. Well, I can't go back up that way. Um, and also... I've been told to go to the top left. Um, uh, 
Let's see. Just double check here. Yep. Nope. This is just a recharge room. This is not the way to go. Go in the small door in the bottom right. What the fuck? Which bottom right? Jesus. I'm really lost here. I, I know what to do now, but I just exhausted every other potential avenue on where to go in this game. Speedrunners, now's the time. Now is the time to throw shame. Shame, Clang. Shame. Oh, oh, I see. I see. This just takes me out of the sector altogether. Have I ever listened to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? You know, I I really don't like the name of that band for a number of reasons. But then another part of me loves the name of the band just because it is so stupid. Um, I've heard them. Joe actually introduced me to them just a few days ago. And I had heard the name, but I hadn't heard the music. They're fucking pretty good. King Lizard's Wizard and his Wet Lizard. That, that, that band is surprisingly decent. Okay. We're just gonna have no signal now. It's a loose connector. For my, um... HDMI splitter. That connector's been loose for a fucking long time. So... I made the tweet earlier that, um, someone needs to fix Detroit sometime. And, uh, I'd like to explain for a second why I even said that. I watched, um, so I've been telling you guys I've been watching Parts Unknown. It's a Bourdain show about, like, traveling to random... Just lower the volume a little bit. Um, random locations. I find it fascinating. Like I said, it's, it's as much a travel show as it is about food. But he, the episode I saw was Detroit, and, um, yeah, it was, it was a sad episode, because Detroit is such a fucking beautiful city, and, um, there's a lot of culture there, and the automotive industry just tanked, tanked there, which fucked it up irreparably, but it's like one of those things where you just want to see it succeed and come back, like, I really want Detroit to be a thing, I want it to, like, come back and, and be awesome again. But, I mean, that episode just showed how much of a shithole it turned into, which is just a shame. Someone else made a, a point that they should fix Cleveland first, then go for Detroit. And then another person was like, Vinny, why don't you fix Detroit? You know what? I'm open to the challenge. I think I could fix it. I think I could fix it. Here's how we're gonna do it. Hot dogs. That's how we're gonna fix Detroit, everyone. I was watching the episode and there's this like Coney Island hot dog place there that had really good hot dogs. We need to push hot dogs and make Detroit the hot dog capital of the world. And have even more awesome hot dogs. So that way everyone wants to go to Detroit and grab a hot dog. It'll work. Turn criminals into hot dogs. Not exactly my plan, but sure, we could try that. I haven't had hot dogs in... Like, probably a, a good month. Which is a shame, because they're so good, they're so healthy for you. I mean, you know, you, you add an extra year to your life every time you eat a hot dog. With all the lovely pig lips that are <laughs> involved in the process of it. If someone didn't tell me in chat what I had to do here, I would have been so fucking confused forever. Apparently you need to... Well, you'll see. Apparently that needs to happen. Now door open. You have to kill all the enemies. The only way to get those enemies active is to get the parasites involved. I mean, I've done- I've had to do that a few times, but that is- that was some lateral thinking. 
I mean, it is for a secret, so you might go through the whole game without ever having to do that. But I mean, do you really want to go through a Metroid game without all the secrets? Come on. How, how dare you go through Metroid without getting all the E-Tanks? At the very least, you gotta get all the E-Tanks. You, you know what I mean? You, you can do... Sure, you, you can miss out on some of the missiles, but... For Christ's sakes, get all the E-Tanks. It's like getting all the heart pieces. That's half the fun. Cool. That works. There's a whole... set of skills in this game that you have to master. They're particular, but they're especially good if someone gets kidnapped. And they're very particular for that kind of situation, specifically. Oh, I remember this room. The D. There's D here. Diffusion added to missiles. Oh, okay, I have the missile charge now. I forgot that that was in this game. Whoa! Whoa, you don't even fucking... You ain't even know. You ain't even know. That, that would be the name of my rap album, everyone. If, if I made a rap album, it would be called You Ain't Even Know. Please tell me that doesn't already exist. Viper? It's, it's a Viper album, isn't it? Yeah, alright. Never mind. Beaten to the punch. Oh! That makes a world of difference. Forgot that I could do that. Oh. Oh, fuck. I have to spine shark it. Which for a while is actually what I thought it was called. Because I am what you'd call a, a moron. And I thought that spine shark sounded cooler anyway. It's a sci-fi channel original, everyone. Spine shark versus Crocto Croctopus. All right, Mega Croctopus. Croctopus exists already. What? No, it doesn't. Octopusy? No, Octopusy. If it was a sci-fi original before James Bond. Octopussy would be an octopus cat. But as it stands, it's just a lady's name. Isn't it? Isn't Octopussy her name? Octopussy. Are you fucking kidding me? Pushy galore. You upgraded your missiles. That's unusual. There's no word from HQ. Procedural error, I'm sure. Even so, I did not approve of bypassing security level 4. From now on, you will use more discretion. In any case, Samus, do you remember the security robot you faced earlier? I believe the X have infected it. That is to say, they have claimed the organic components that form its neural network. It has entered Sector 6. I don't know what it's planning, but let's not wait to find out. Samus, you know what to do. I like how... Even though you're not authorized in this game, you just fucking do it anyway. No, 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 I'm talking about Octopussy. And Pussy Galore from, uh, James Bond. Do you know when, um... Do, do you remember when James Bond, James Bond says this was an old thing we used to do on the stream? Do you, don't you like when James Bond says her name? Pussy. Pussy, 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 pussy. What a name. And that way they got away with that in the 60s too. I think Timothy Dalton was definitely an underrated Bond. His movies were much more serious, much more brutal. 
and uh, security robots more powerful now. But, you know, Connery is was an amazing Bond, and then Roger Moore had a few good movies, but I, I, I th I'm not really... Roger Moore is not my, not my guy. I'm, I'm more of a George Lazenby guy when it comes to James Bond. Is anyone, though? Is anyone a George Lazenby guy? Granted, the movie he was in was actually pretty good, but... The dude wasn't an actor. He f I mean, you want to talk about fake it until you make it. That dude faked his way into the role of a lifetime. He was like a male model, and he, he pretended like he went into the interview with all this bravado, and he made up a bunch of movies that he was in that he wasn't actually in, and then they gave the role to him because he looked like James Bond. And then they realized he couldn't act like halfway through the movie. Um, yeah, Ford, Harrison Ford does love, Harrison Ford loves playing Indiana Jones. And I, I don't think Harrison Ford wants to fuck up the movie. I, I'm almost positive he acknowledges the idea that the previous movie wasn't that good. And he was, they were waiting for a good script for Indy 5. And I th think they may, they may have a good script. Warning. I wonder if they're gonna get Chris Pratt. Warning. That Chris Pratt's so hot right now. Oh god. There we go. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, this this boss is a bitch. Gonna take it slow. Take it slow. It's working. Full concentration. I mean, now it's... Now it's a definite, but... It's just, yeah, that would have been a good, that would have been a great clutch. Fuck. Well, from what I understand, the reason I'm not using missiles is because... At this point in the game, the charged... Plasma beam is more powerful than missiles. And also... You might only be able to get, like, one or two missiles into the thing before he jumps away, so... I feel like this is probably the best strategy for dealing with this guy. And then there's the cling and the clang. No. Guys. No! What? Fuck. I'm, I'm gonna try missiles. I've already broken it. Okay, so missiles do work better. Because he's, he's already, like, halfway dead. So missiles were the key. Even though... Oh my god, really? That quickly! <laughs> Holy shit! 
What, guys? What the fuck? What the fuck? I remember someone in chat saying, Vinny, at this point in the game, you should only be using charge shots against the boss. I remembered that. Oh, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Also, this game, I think, has the latest wave beam in any Metroid game. Which is weird, because usually the wave beam is like the second or third. Warning. Entry without both or from cotton candy beam. I don't think we're supposed to be here, guys. Oh, I remember this part of the game. Here's the plot twist. Oh shit, look, it's the fucking Metroids from Metroid 2. It's the evolutions of the Metroids. I love the way the story is told in this game. And just Metroid in general. That doesn't sound good. Yo, son. <laughs> hey, X is getting swarmed by Troids. Oh my god. Go fucking faster, Pokey. Climactic end to SAX. Or is it? Samus, you shouldn't have done that. A am I f talking to HAL 9000? You ignored your orders. You may have to pay a price for that quite soon. As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program for peaceful application only, of course. Please understand. Please understand, but perhaps you already knew of this program's existence. Certainly you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1, SRX, a faithful replica of the SR388 ecosystem, ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. This research even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Imagine creating an Omega from a larval Metroid in days. But that research is finished. The X has smelled out its natural enemy, and one of the SAX is on its way here. One. Are you saying that there is more than one SAX? Don't be so surprised, Samus. You know that the X reproduce by asexual division. Because of this mechanism, there are now no fewer than ten SAX aboard the station. <laughs> the silence speaks leagues. Samus, you must- Samus, you must go. Get out. If you stay too long, the SAX will destroy you. Stop only at a navigation room to uplink to me. I don't know how HQ is going to take this, but you need to report to them immediately. You know, the thing I find funny about this is like, how did they replicate the suit? That suit, that suit was built in a cave. A box of scraps by the Chozo and they replicated it. The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. Tracksuit?
There's definitely a way to continue the story from this game, though. I mean, Metroids don't have to be done completely. There could still be Troids. There could be Troids around somewhere. Question, is this the last energy tank? Oh, oh, oh my god, far from it. I didn't realize there was two fucking levels of energy tank. Dear god, this- this game prob- does this game hold the record for most amount of energy tanks? There's 20 altogether, and that's- that's a record. Yeah, that's- that's the most. Again, I haven't played this game in like, what, 14 years. Why- why does there need to be a reboot of this franchise? Like, someone in chat's like... You know... I mean, they're not- they don't want it to happen, but they think it could happen. I mean, you're right. I- I could see Nintendo easily pulling the reboot card. Since this series rebooted- or rebooted, but... Since this series came back... After the long absence of, uh, from Super Metroid... This is the furthest we've gotten in the story. And I'm- there's so many stories that could be told. It's sci-fi. It's- it's a sci-fi universe. You can do so much with sci-fi. You don't need to be restricted to just like... You know, one- one set of things. There could be a thousand things. We could figure out how to get Samus back into the suit. We could get Troids back. We don't even need Troids. The amount of side story we've received, and like, non-canon Metroid Prime stuff has been off the fucking hook. Oh god. Space Pirate. The fusion suit is literally fused to her, more than her old one ever was. She would have to keep it. Th again, this is sci-fi. I believe it. Yeah, like, it's fused to her, sure. But maybe the Chozo have a cure. Maybe... That she could go to the Chozo... You know, a Chozo planet where they still exist. You know? Like, we, in, in Prime, we see the Chozo as they were, and like, through like, records and holograms and shit. Maybe we could go to a, a place where the Chozo still exist, and the idea is to get Samus out of the fusion suit because it's slowly killing her. And you start to rebuild slowly into a new suit that resembles the one that we're all familiar with, but is is more up is upgraded. There you go. Perfect. Something. I mean, you know, it's not the best that there could be, but it's something to work with. Make the game, make it good. That's all you gotta do. Hi, Ridley. Oh my god, listen to those screams! <laughs> oh, this is the best Ridley's ever sounded. I I'm sorry, but we didn't even really need Ridley in this game. I mean, I'll take it. It's, isn't this just a parasite mimicking Ridley? Wasn't Ridley, like, well and truly destroyed in Metroid, uh, Super Metroid? And I'll just keep going. And I don't blink. And I'll just keep going. And I don't blink. And I'll keep on shooting. And I don't blink. And I'll just keep shooting. That's a very cheesable Ridley. What are those called? Zoomers? Goobers? Gooby? Are they called Goobies? Rippers. Oh, they rip and tear. 
Thinking of gamers. What? Someone just said, why does this look so crispy? Is it on the Wii U? Yeah, it is. It's the virtual console. What do you mean crispy? You mean like the, the pixels have sharp edges? Yeah, there's no smoothing on or anything like that. It's on the Wii U. It's the, um... Virtual console version. If you want to collect more items, don't go to a navigation room. You'll be locked into endgame. Really? Hang on, you can actually smooth this, no? Yeah. There it is. I mean, I'll let you be the judge. What do you think? This is a big spaceship. It's a very big spaceship. Not that I would know how big spaceships are in a, in a traditional sense, but this, this seems to me to be a very big spaceship. That Ripper had full health. Space station, sorry, station. In which case, I, I retract my statement, because we- I, As you know, space stations can be worth 15 points. And they can be as big as you want them to be. They can be, like, massive. Like, check it out. Lava? Nah. That nah, shit doesn't bother me at all. I can handle lava. Okay. So, there's gonna be a lot of hidden shit to find now that I have my screw attack. So I'm gonna be looking around for some of that hidden shit. I only really care about health. Like, E-tanks are the main priority. Okay. Just a few more. Almost done. Almost done! Sector 4 is next. This might be where the last two are. The last energy tanks are in the main sector. Alright. Thomas, we're done here. Leave the rest of the Federation. We should be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do they know how dangerous the X are? How quickly they reproduce? Federation has taken an interest in the X and the SAX. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. This is ridiculous. The X are heartless abominations. What, what potential could they have? It's not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness. I won't stand a chance here. The station will devour them. What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think that they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. I also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it, and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission. Open a channel to HQ. I won't let this happen. They are already on their way. Fools. As soon as this Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin. Then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. They must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. This situation, this station, has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Them, the station, and myself, if I have to. Oh, 
open the hatch. I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Who is Adam? A friend of mine. What would this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruction cycle. He knew- he knew how important it is to- Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit on a safe command room and order you to die? He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once, so he chose life for you. A oh, fair warrior Samus Aran. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you? How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that detonating this station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the X-Parasites, even though this station would be utterly destroyed. You would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin, yourself. You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporation field, vaporization field of the self-destruct detonation. You would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to interrupt SR-388. Intercept SR-388. Then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's in order. Any objections, lady? The robot is now helping. So, people were saying that the last, the last E-tanks are here. The two energy tanks are in the main sector above the Morph Ball boss room. Okay. Yeah, I see. I see one of them. Uh, the other one, I think I already have. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have the one. So there's, there's another one missing someplace. But I'll get this one and then maybe we'll, we'll see about the other one. This is the one that you guys freaked out about that I missed. Someone in charge just said, forget about the tanks. Have you heard about steak knives? I remember steak knives, do you? He was the true hero of the Fallout universe. I could finish the game right now. But I'm, I'm really... I'm so close to, to getting that last one. Sector 2. I'm gonna go to Sector 2. That was the one that I haven't gone to yet. It's gonna be a bitch to get, but... And it's gonna involve five spine sharks, but I wanna do it. For queen and country. And then we will finish Metroid Fusion, and that'll be, that'll be that. Then I can start Metroid Other M right away. Oh boy! I'm, I'm not actually doing Other M. Fear not. Fear not! I see a number of things on my map that are very interesting. And I know exactly where it is. It's not very far from here. It's gonna happen. What the fuck is this? Why is the door locked? So then you weren't lying. Pe people weren't lying when they said if you went to a navigation room you would hit endgame. I thought that was... And then another person dispelled- like another 10 people dispelled that. You have to beat the game at least once to unlock these doors. Oh, okay. So I have to beat the game, then go back, then I can go get everything. But, yeah, all the doors are locked. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're not getting that last one. Time to finish the game, everyone.
Anyone have OCD? I'm being told that there is still a passage somewhere, but I, I don't think I care enough to get it. Probably, yeah, it's probably blocked. I mean, if they blocked everything else, I'm sure they covered their bases. Comj just had a good idea. Comj said, "Use XSplit to make it look like there's another tank." Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna do it, guys. here <laughs> I did it yay <laughs> I fucking did it everyone it's perfect except when I look at my screen because I'm playing this on the on the Wii U gamepad <laughs> I know the difference it's not the same everyone but I did it I got all the e-tanks you know officially but Vinny will be able to tell if you get damaged. It's, I mean, that's okay. Whatever. Um, but I want to save. Is it... Is it really too late to save? Here we go. Wow, that motherfucker did a lot of damage to me. Oh, what are you turning into? Fucking like it. Not like this. Not like this. I, this is what people were telling me to do, but I couldn't read the chat because I was busy fighting. But this would have been a good way to get my health back. And I completely and totally regret not doing this. Good cheese. That's a good cheese. I don't know why I didn't consider the invin uh, the invincibility of the screw attack. It's like when you're in the moment, you know, you just don't know, and then you shit your <coughs> you shit your pants. room. Here it is. Propulsion sequence activated. Destination planet. That's some good cheese. Good cheese.
get that E tank? Yeah, sure. Okay. This I do have an opportunity to hit up this. There was no save. The door was locked to the save room. Sons. It's okay. Good thing I have all my E-tanks. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, one hit? What kind of cheese is this? Don't tell me the SAX was my friend the whole time. I don't, I don't remember this. I do not remember this. This is- it's- it's a very, very similar story <laughs> to the end of another Metroid game that you may be aware of. Yet I remember the disappointment of that boss fight, actually. I remember having- there's some- some- I knew that the boss fight was taking place in the docking bay. I didn't remember the- the help from the parasite or whatever the fuck just happened there, but... I do have a vague rec- whoops. Immersion ruined. A vague recollection of being slightly disappointed with that fight. But yeah. The SAX just hates Metroids, it's not your friend. But I like Metroids. At the end of Super Metroid, I became one for a minute. Hmm. That perfect military mind, the wisdom of Adam Malkovich, continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe, but how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did. The danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words. Why is the F corrupted? Oh. I know why the F is corrupted. <laughs> I see the wisdom in them. We're all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. And that's what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. The ship can only be started manually. Yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible, Adam? Lady, what's the tr what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. They lent me a hand. They lent me a hand. The true heroes of the game. The animals. One of which- oh, there's a baby involved too. That- how did it have a baby? Like a chocobo? It's like a little green chocobo. You can cross mountains with it. That's what happens when you save the animals in Super Metroid. If you don't, you engage in a time paradox. How did that chocobo have have a baby though? Did it always have a baby? It always had a baby. The baby was always there. But can it shoot Bowsers? Thank you, chat member, for reminding me of can it shoot Bowsers. Good quality. 
in Super Metroid, the bird have a egg. Thank you for that information. I'm just happy I got all the E-Tanks. my percentage. Any guesses? I say 67%. 424. Oh man, if only I didn't dawdle for four minutes. 70%, okay. Yeah, these clothes aren't coming off. See you next mission. Um... Well, that's, that's the saddest part about this whole story, is that there was no next mission. No face reveal. Yeah. How great would it have been? 420, 69%. That would have been, um... Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. Oh. Oh, look, this save file got corrupted. It shows that there's not all of the save, uh, the E-Tanks. It's like, see you next mission is, well, see you in a, another universe that is not canon. And also, we'll see you maybe in Federation Force as a cameo. And, and also in Other M, which is canon. I don't know when that's supposed to take place, but... See you in the past. Anyway, this game was great. I'm actually shocked I haven't managed to play it again in the 14 years since its release. But I enjoyed it very much. This this game is absolutely fantastic. I would say it's it's up there with the best Metroid games. Um, Zero Mission could definitely be um, a stream in the future. If, if I need my Metroid fix again, I might do Zero Mission. Apparently someone in chat said the whole Prime not canon thing is false. The creator said it was a side story. So Super Metroid goes to Other M goes to Fusion. Other M is a direct prequel to Fusion. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> it really is. Anyway, um, this is a very, very lot amount of people here for um, for three in the morning, four in the morning almost. And uh, I am really happy you guys enjoyed Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion is a fucking amazing game and I enjoyed the stream of it a lot. I, I can't wait to uh, do more Metroid games, but I'm probably going to take a little Metroid break and then maybe Zero Mission could happen. And then I think at some point I kind of want to do the original again, which is kind of a bitch of a game to stream because it, it, you just get lost constantly. But with the help of a map, I think I could do it. And I've, I've completed Metroid 1 on stream once years ago and I still... I still really like Metroid 1. There's a very... That's a game, along with Zelda 2, that are games I played endlessly when I was a kid because they were so hard and they were so difficult to beat and there was a lot of secrets. And the thing about Metroid is I always felt like that game was huge. You know, my four to five to six-year-old mind couldn't comprehend how big the game was. So it just seemed like a limitless, endless world of possibility.